So today we begin with the uh, formal communication. Formal communication. Uh, so we have said we are beginning the lesson with the uh, informal communication. That is what we are looking at. Informal communication. Informal communication. So we write this. This is communication. This is communication. That froze without, that froze without following the formal paths. That froze without following the formal paths. So stop. It is also known as grapevine communication. It is also known as grapevine communication. It is also known as grapevine communication. Grapevine communication. First of all, it has the following characteristics. It has the following characteristics. One, it is formed through social interactions. It is formed through social interactions. It is formed through social interactions. Number two, it is about it, it can be about work. It can be about work and individuals. It can be about work and individuals. Number three, it does not follow definite paths. It does not follow definite paths. It does not follow definite paths. Another one, it has possibilities of rumors and possibilities of rumors and Gossips, rumors and gossips, possibilities of rumors and gossips.
it is relayed in a very quick manner. Relayed in a very quick manner. It is relayed in a very quick manner. So that is uh, what we call uh, informal communication. And we are saying this is communication that does not follow the normal paths, the formal paths. It does actually not even conform to the normal formats. As we go by and by, we'll be looking at the formats of various items of communication. So this one does not follow the formal paths. It does not adhere to the formal formats or the recommended formats. And uh, it is also popularly known as grapevine communication. Now, this grapevine, it comes about as a result of social interactions, how people interact or interrelate at the workplaces as normal or as social beings. And as a result, people can discuss work-related issues while at the workplace, and still while at the workplace, they can decide to discuss individual issues. They discuss people, they discuss personal issues, either amongst themselves or they discuss other people. The other thing is that there are no definite paths. Uh, here, it is not like what you are saying, uh, upward communication or downward communication or horizontal. This one, it can move to whichever direction. It can move to whichever direction. There are no definite paths. And the other thing is that it has a huge potential of carrying rumors and substantiated stories. It can be gossips. It can be about malice and so on. And uh, it moves very fast because most of the content of this communication are switched to hear. So people want to hear. They go looking for the information. And those who have already had they are kind of experiencing an urge to go and tell others a sweet story. So consequently, this information moves in a very, very fast way. Good. Let's look at uh, advantages. 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 So, number one. It is very fast and effective. It is very fast and effective. It is very fast and effective. Very fast and effective. Number two. It creates a free environment. It creates a free environment. Free environment. Number three, it enhances better human relations. It enhances better human relations. Better human relations. Number three, it creates easy solutions. It creates easy solutions. Easy solutions for difficult situations. For difficult situations. For difficult situations. For difficult situations. Another one is that it satisfies social needs social needs of workers. It satisfies social needs of workers. 
satisfies social needs of workers. Social needs of workers. So what we are saying here is that when there is this grapevine communication, one, it moves in a very fast way. So if you have a hot message, an urgent message that you want to communicate to your people, you can use grapevine. You can be sure it will move very fast. And then it is also very effective. It is effective in terms of the target. target Even in terms of the in the in terms of the content, in as much as there can be distortion, uh, there is also a high degree of maintaining the original message. The other thing is that it creates a free environment at the workplace. People become free with each other. And when people are free with each other, it is a big plus in any working environment. Even in families, when you are free with people, it is very, very big plus because nothing will be left undiscussed. People cannot uh, continue sweeping things under the carpet. People cannot con uh, continue watching things as they go wrong and they keep quiet. But when people are free, uh, open, they will freely give their views. And that is a big, big advantage. Then we're also saying it enhances uh, uh, what we're calling better human relationships. When we are in a good situation, uh, rather in a good environment, and we are able to relate well, it goes along well in, uh, in enhancing our productivity. Then it also creates an avenue where we are able to solve very difficult things with very simple ways. I don't know whether in your life you have ever struggled with something. Now, Kafika Mahari, you can it can't work. Only to talk to another guy. And it looks so simple. You are even left wondering what means you want to clear it. You could not see it in that direction. But someone else maybe has heard about it or has gone through it or is currently going through it. So they give you a very simple solution of difficult issues. And then it serves the social needs. Remember, we are social beings. And one of the things that we require is to interact with the people. When you, 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 you are alone for a long period, you don't feel good. Actually, you may feel that you want to now take uh, some rounds there so that you go and meet some people. It is a need, it's a basic need. You cannot survive as a lone ranger for long. And if you find that you want, you are feeling to, to be alone, for a prolonged period, that one we call it withdraw in psychology. And it's a signal that either you are going through stress or you have some other problems and they need to be checked and uh, be addressed. Uh, from there, let's look at some disadvantages. 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 Advantages. Number one, it is very unsystematic. It is very unsystematic. It's very unsystematic. Number two, it contains very unreliable information. Very unreliable information. Unreliable information. Number three, it is subject to misinterpretation. It is subject to misinterpretation. It is subject to misinterpretation. Another one is that there is lack of accountability. There is lack of accountability. Lack of accountability. Those are some of the problems you find with the uh, grapevine communication. One, it is very unsystematic. We have just said it does not follow the normal parts or the formal parts. It does not follow the definite paths or routes. So it is very random. It is very unsystematic. 
even if you wanted to follow, you cannot be able to track it. Then the information that flows through it, in most cases, is information that is not reliable. It is not information that you can use to make a serious decision. The other thing is that there is subject to misinterpretation. When uh, people communicate through grapevine, the way the information is passed from one person to the other, it is suffers distortion, it suffers what we call uh, misinterpretation. And people interpret it the way they want. And uh, you cannot pin them down because it's not something in writing. The other thing is that there is lack of accountability. These are the times mtu amesema maneno unaenda kumuuliza eh atulisema nini kwambia mimi sijasema kitu nisikia kwa nani mimi hata sijui nilisikia na nani nilisikia tu watu huku wakiongea eh they cannot tell you walisikia kwa nani they are just saying mimi nilisikia maneno ikipita tu hata nilikuwa kwa hiyo huku sijui ni kina nani walikuwa naongelea hapo so no one wants to take what a uh, responsibility there is no accountability and that makes it very very uh, disadvantages. Good. Let's now look at reasons why grapevine communication develops. 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 One. One. Employees find it a perfect way. Employees find it a perfect way. Perfect way to express their emotions. To express their emotions. In relation to such issues as in relation to such issues as in relation to such issues as job insecurity. Job insecurity, uncertainty of promotions, uncertainty of promotions, prohibitions, prohibitions, ATC, ATC. Number two, second reason, is existence of informal and peer groups. Existence of informal and peer groups. Informal and peer groups. Number three, exceptional information. Exceptional information, exceptional information, relating to such things as, relating to such things as, relating to such things as uh, innovations, innovations. and investments, innovations and investments. Number four, the nature of the job, the nature of the job, such as personal assistance, such as personal assistants and drivers. Personal assistants and drivers. 
Number five is organizational climate. Organizational climate. Organizational climate where employees are free. Where employees are free to frequently communicate with each other. Frequently communicate with each other. Okay, so uh, we were looking at reasons why grapevine develops in an organization. And the first reason to Mesema, it is used by employees to express emotions, especially on things that are affecting them adversely or things that are creating fear. For example, uh, issues of job security. Unaona kama unaweza futwa, wengine wamesha futwa. So unasikia kuna lot of underground communication uh, that haifikiwa kubwa lakini inapita huko chini. People expressing their fears, issues to do with promotions. Maybe kuna ka promotion ulikuwa unangoja, hapa mmesikia kuna ma promotions. So people are giving their views nani atapointiwa nani atapointiwa itakuwa aje. Uh, issues to do with the prohibitions. Again when you prohibit there are companies which do a lot of prohibitions, uh, especially on formal communications. Like I know of companies where you cannot uh, be allowed to get in there using your mobile or rather uh, having your mobile phone. You have to leave it at the gate. You come on why you somewhere like that. Where's in here for your company? Nacha Simu Kamra. <laughs> so the person who has joined using user, uh, change your name. You can see you are several of you. You are two. Change your name. Uh, or 
you speak and tell me you have full names. Yes, the person who has the video, let me know your name. Hello. Yes. It is, it is Eric. It's only that I log in using my computer. That's why. Oh, you are not able to change the name. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, just click where you can see it's written uh, user. You change okay. your name. Eh? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. So we are saying that uh, there is the issue of uh, those prohibitions. And uh, you are not able to to communicate. Existence of informal groups and peer pressure groups, uh, you find that wakati watu wa mejiunga vikudi hapa na pare, then there is a lot of manenos for one one. Issues to do with the uh, exceptional information, like what we call innovation, when there are new things that are being done and uh, we are not aware, then again, it creates a lot of anxiety. The job title, like those people who are personal assistants and personal secretaries and uh, drivers, they engage themselves into a lot of uh, grief because they are with the mkubwa all the time. So what I can give you a simple the conversation. Wakitembea, ama wale wakitembea kwa ofisi ya mkubwa, they know. And to some extent, they know what they were be, they was being discussed. So unapata wawo ni wanaenda huko inje kusabaza hiyo maneno. So unapata maneno ilisha atoka na mpili ilitoka na nalani. The other one is where the environment is so free that people are very open to each other, right? From wana mkubwa to the lowest person. People interact freely. And as a result, you find that there is a uh, lot of great value. Now let's look at forms of grapevine communication. Forms of grapevine communication.
Sorry, we were doing an upgrade so that uh, it is able to continue without uh, disruptions. Okay. So Nimesema, now we are looking at uh, forms of grapevine communication. Forms of grapevine communication. Okay. Uh, Number one, in a into a single strat chain. Single strat chain. Single strat chain. I'm going to write that. This is where information flows from one person. Information flows from one person. Information flows from one person to another, to another through a single chain. To another through a single chain. First of all, the sender, the sender tells the receiver, the sender tells the receiver that the information is confidential. Information is confidential and secret. And secret. Okay, so that one, we have the starter here. We have person uh, B, person C, and D. So what happens is that one person begins. Alafu anakuja kwa huyo na mwambia hii maneno ni confidential usimpie mtu mwingine eh ni mimi tu na wewe mm? ni venye wewe ni rafiki yangu nimeona siwezi nyamaza na hii maneno lazima nikufahamisha But as soon as uh, that fellow is through he goes on to tell the others Okay. The next one in it was star chain. Star chain. Star chain. Star chain and write that 
this is where this is where one person one person tells everyone the information tells everyone Tells everyone the information. In most cases, it involves gossip. Most cases, it involves gossip. So we have a starter here. Now be a person A. Now be a person B. Now be a person C. Now be a person D. Um, so that is the star chain. The star chain. So Mumoja be an artificial maneno in a saccurate, in a saccurate. Uh, the next one in a cluster chain. Cluster chain. Cluster chain. Cluster chain. And we write that one person communicates. One person communicates to selected individuals, to selected individuals, who each in turn, who each in turn communicates to other selected individuals. Each in turn communicates to other selected individuals. So this fellow here communicates to this one, communicates to this one, and uh, communicates to this one. Then this one, and a pereke a huyu, and a pereke a huyu. Then huyu, and a kibiza kwa huyu, and huyu nae, and a kibiza huyu. Then huyu, and a sabaza hapo, So that is uh, the cluster chain. 
uh, communication, and we are saying one person is relaying information to uh, another person, uh, to some other persons, and then those other persons, they relate to others. They relate to others. Okay, the next one is uh, called probability chain. Probability chain. And right. This is where this where the source of information, the source of information for each person, for each person hearing the message is different. For each person hearing the message is different. So we have the starter who communicates here. And this fellow communicates here. Then there is another one here who is communicated to here. There is another one here who is communicated here. And even at times can get it from here. That way. And even this one can also get it from here. Even this one can hear from there. So it's uh, very different and random. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fatma, are you talking? Yes. Uh, what are you saying? Prayer break. Yeah? Prayer break. Prayers. Yeah. Okay. I can give you 10 minutes. So by 7 or 5, we'll be back. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no. 
So, um, So, I think about the thing there. The Sunday program is not there. Some of the most expensive. Oh, 
Okay, so um, so we put the basic uh, for all uh, formal things, for learning, program, they have part to be combined, translated into the form of the language, then you can use the word by the Good. Uh, I think now we can proceed. Okay, Fatma is through. Yes. Ah, yeah. The next thing that we need to look at are ways to improve grapevine or to make grapevine beneficial to the company. Ways to make grapevine beneficial to the company. Ways to make grapevine beneficial to the company. One, provide real news to grapevine initiators. Provide real news to grapevine initiators. To grapevine initiators. Number two, Contradict any false rumor. Contradict any false rumor. Number three, involve most workers in decision making. Process. So, what do you think by um, Next is number four. Eh? Consider grapevine as a pulse feeling tool. Is a false feeling to consider grapevine is a false feeling to so despite the disadvantages that we have mentioned then a uh, grapevine can also be very very beneficial and we are saying you can uh, use it number one by providing real information to the grapevine initiators. Kama huwa kati wa siyasa, we had the bloggers from both sides, the Azimio and the Kenya ones. And whichever coalition had some information to lay, ilikuwa tu inapewa ma bloggers. And within no time, I'm told that actually they used to have a WhatsApp group, where whoever wants to release the information in a tumwa hapo, then immediately all of them share and circulate. So within 20 minutes, your information in the jar was social media. Then the other one now, kama ni nyinyi muna bongwa, na nyinyi muna get away of contradicting. Nyinyi muna design ka revert kenu, ka message kenu, muna tuma kwa group yenu, your members share, and the information circulate. So you can use it that way. And uh, then you ensure that you make most of the workers, uh, most of the people that you have at the workplace, part of the decision making process. So when they become part of the decision making process, they will be able to access this information. They will know what is true, they go circulating. They will also know what is not true. They will be able to counter it. Uh, 
The other thing is uh, you can use it as a tool to measure the heart rate, a pulse. Na pima moyo ina piga namna gani? Ile ya kupima temperature. Ile unasikia wakisema kwa ground mambo ni tofauti. So ukitaka kujua ground kwa namna gani tumia grapevine. Yeah. One of the presidents who is accredited with using this tool is the former president Moi, the late. He is said to have used to have perfected grapevine. So he would know what is happening right in your village when he's, he's in state house. And I do a job of who can Yeah. But uh, <laughs> when you're not able to do that, uh, things can go wrong. Like the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, he said that he was not very good in what? In grip fight. So, Alika tu uko ju, watu wana muambia mu centro, iko nyumayake, mambo iko sawa, ube ground in sharp, shifts. Yeah, so you need to check on that. Maybe we can check in the past papers one or two questions. Page three, yeah? This question of uh, August twenty twenty two, August twenty twenty two. August 2022, question number 5A. Question number 5A is on page three. Those who have the hard copies, those who have the soft copies, you check it is on which page. In Asema, summarize five demerits of grapevine communication. Five demerits. I think I've given you what? Four. The disadvantages, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you can try to add another one. Uh, so the answer is there. Then... I have not seen it. I have seen another one. At least to be able to honor these things are some. Yes, this one of uh, May 2019, May 2019, question 6A, May 2019, question 6A, go there to May 2019, Question 6a is on page 13 of our past papers. Nasema, I write five advantages of grapevine communication to an organization. The advantages, I think I give you five advantages. Five advantages. I think those are enough. Some others. 
Yeah, you get some others as we go by and by. Now, from there, let's look at something known as internal communication. Internal communication. Internal communication. Internal communication and we write that this is information exchanged or information exchange. This is information exchange, information exchange among participants information exchange among participants within an organization among participants within an organization it can be formal or informal it can be formal or informal the modes used are the modes used are face to face and written communications the modes used are face to face and written communications face to face and written communications so, examples of examples of internal communication include examples of internal communications include memos reports Office orders, office orders, circulars, video conferencing, video conferencing, meetings, meetings. So that is uh, what we call internal communication. It is the communication that is happening amongst people who are within the organization. Yeah, and we are saying it can be formal, it can be informal. And uh, again, you can use all these mediums or these ways. Then down there, another point is that internal communication internal communication involves the following trans or involves the following trans involves the following trans number one get leadership on board get leadership on board, get leadership on board. Point number two, position communication staff, position communication staff near the leader, near the leader near the leader. Number three, understand your audience. Understand your audience. Understand your audience. 
Number four, identify information. Identify information that needs to be communicated. Identify information that needs to be communicated. Uh, another one is list methods of communication. Lists methods of communication. List methods of communication. Number six is decide who should decide who should release the information to others. Decide who should release the information to others. Who should release the information to others. Another one is craft the message. Craft. Craft the message. Another one is be intentional with timing. Be intentional with timing. Be intentional with timing. Another one is get feedback. Get feedback. The last one is incorporate. Incorporate other good. Incorporate other good internal communication practices. Incorporate other good internal communication practices. Internal communication practices. So we are saying if you want to do internal communication, there are some things that you need to do. One, ensure that the leader is on the board. He is involved. For example, if you are to look at the case of the president of the republic, you must ensure that he is aware or he is on the board. Number two, you ensure your position the guys of communication near the president. Yeah. That's why you see anywhere the president travels anytime. The media houses, they will say they are people to where the president has gone. Because the president is the source of information. The CEO is the source of information that is relevant to the nation. That's why you see, like now, now that Uhuru is no longer the president, when last you do hear of you, I think Sunday he was in a chat somewhere in Gurumai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But before Sunday, the other time would be scared. Huh? Eh? He was in? This man of Congo. Oh, Congo, yes. But he's not very frequent. Every day, every day. The media is covering. Sasa when you know every day me, the current president William Ruto. Yeah, because the leader is the source of the information. The other thing is, uh, once you have positioned your guys there, ensure you understand your audience. Who are you communicating to? Are you communicating to, uh, to young people? Are you communicating to elderly people? Are you communicating to religious people? Are you communicating to investors? Who are you communicating to? You must get to understand your audience very, very well. Nicola, last week I had been invited to discuss uh, mental health issues in a group or with a group of uh, class eight and four, four students. And when I prepared my speech, it had a lot of uh, psychological terms, difficult words. And I realized that these ones will not be beneficial to these kids. 
because we're getting work in our class eight. So I had now to remove those difficult, those technical words and just remain with what we call plain language, very simple language. And with that now, how what what I'm going to say, but when you go there with very difficult words, it, it will not help. There will be no communication. The other thing is uh, you need to identify uh, the information that needs to be communicated. What are you going to say? Like now, when I have come to this class, you see, I have some notes here because I have identified what I am coming to say. Otherwise, if I was just to come and say what is in my mind, you can be sure I can say a lot. There is a lot that is in my mind, which may not be necessary to you for now. But what is necessary for you now is what we are discussing. You may bag up because I have taken time to know what information you people need. Then you should also know the methods of communication. How am I going to communicate to these people? Like now in this class, I already know I'm dictating notes and I'm discussing. Instead of giving you handouts, I'm giving you notes and we're discussing. There are times maybe I would need to give handouts and so on. There are times maybe I would just come discuss without what? Notes. So you need to know the methods to use where. And then you should know who is to dispatch the information. That's why you find even with government, we have the so-called government folks as Right now, who is the government spokesperson? Yeah. Who is the spokesperson at State House? Hey, you people don't follow news. There's a gentleman known as Mohammed. Make sure you, you follow political news. You do who is who, where. So those are the guys. Eh? It's not everyone who is in state house is supposed to talk. Even in a, an institution like this one, it is not everyone who is supposed to talk. Any okay. information going out, it is our principal who should bring that information. information. I should go brief him and then he release it. Yeah, that's why when someone who is not authorized speaks. You will always hear the media saying from undisclosed or an anonymous source. Because if you recall that you spoke and you're not an authorized spokesperson, that can lead you into problems. The other thing is that you craft the message. You do your message well, you, you organize it well, you do spell check and so on. Actually, there are some guys who are just employed, even like in the state house and with the ministers and the deputy president and so on. The speeches that you see them read, it is not their own, as in they are not the ones who have written everything. They gave the general speech, then Kunamutu Ameka Chini, Akaipanga Vizuri Vegeta, Fro, Maneno, Yakingereza, Ama, Yakiswahiri, Imepangwa, Kunamutu Ameajiwa for that. They are linguistics, they know how to do speeches. Then there is what we call being intentional with time. You should know when to communicate what. It's not every information you release any time. You should know he in December Hapa, he in December he time, and so on. The other thing is about uh, ensuring that you get feedback is very, very important. And uh, above all, we are saying you look for other methods that could be good in improving your communications and improve them. Now, I want to give you a small assignment. So, I take assignment. 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 List several purposes. List several purposes. Add several barriers to internal communication. Several purposes and several barriers to internal communication. Okay, let's now look at uh, external communication. External communication. External communication. And we write that these are communications with people and entities. 
These are communications with people and entities. Communications with people and entities outside the company. Outside the company. Outside the company. Full stop. The mediums used include emails. The mediums used include emails. Include emails. Comma advertisements. Advertisements. Comma brochures. Brochures. Comma newsletters. Newsletters. ETC. It can either be formal or informal. It can either be formal or informal. It can either be formal or informal. Yeah, so I think that is also very, very direct with the communication that you have with persons who are out of the company. Let's now look at uh, a few advantages. 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 One, enables passing of information about the firm. Enables passing of information about the firm to third parties. About the firm to third parties. Third parties. Number two, it supports image building for the company. It supports image building for the company. They support image building for the company. Image building for the company. And number three is that it enhances reach to potential customers. It enhances reach to potential customers. Reach to potential customers. Ah, uh, disadvantages. 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 One. It exposes company secrets. Exposes company secrets. Company secrets. Number two, it is very costly. It's very costly. Number three, it may cause negative impacts. It may cause negative impacts. Okay, hey, ways to improve external communication. Let's look at ways to improve external communication. Ways to improve external communication. One, uphold honesty as the best policy. Uphold honesty as the best policy. 
uphold honesty as the best policy. Number two, use simple, clear language. Use simple, clear language. Clear language. Understand? Create a dialogue. Create a dialogue. Create the dialogue. Number four, know your audience well. Know your audience well. The last one is make use of multiple communication mediums. Make use of multiple communication mediums. Make use of multiple communication mediums. So, um, of multiple communication mediums. So those are some of the ways that you can uh, improve this external communication. And we are saying it is very advantageous because you're able to pass information to outsiders. It helps us to build the image and it also reaches potential customers. Uh, but on the flip side, uh, it can expose the company secrets. People can leak information to the outsiders uh, to our disadvantage. It is expensive. You don't just release information in whichever form. You have to get a speech, a script writer, a good designer, graphic designer, someone who is good in communication. So to assemble all those, it becomes expensive. And it may also have some negative impact. Uh, and now, when it comes to looking at how you can improve, the very important thing is always uphold honesty. Communicate in an honest way. Actually, even in general life, uh, uphold honesty. Uh, quite often, we tend to be dishonest as we try to secure the gains or the advantages that are there immediately. So now what happened in Kisema Ukweli, the company that you do, I will not get the benefits. So we have Naganya, Napata Tenyu Napata, Kisonga. Now that is not sustainable. In the near future or in the long future, true, you will still come out and you look very bad. It is good to communicate in the good way. Then ensure that you are using straight language, very plain language, very clear language. Ensure that you have you create a dialogue. Creating a dialogue is when you create uh, an impression that you want to talk. Someone is even become now when you hear it's like they are coming to an end. Is that all? Anything else? Uh, then, like if I no, you you make a statement. Anytime you are free to come and contact us, come and message you now in case you have any question or in case of any clarification, you are free to contact us. So you create an impression that you are not concluding the conversation there and there, but you are open for further engagements. The other thing is uh, you should make an effort to know your audience very, very well. I think we have been emphasizing on that. And where possible, make use of uh, multiple mediums of communication. I like the way Safaricom does their adverts. You will see them in the street preaching tents, Utawaona kwa magari, utawaona kwa marindio, kwa magazeti. And they also use very simple language. Wanatumia kiswa nilaiti sana. Those two songs and those two animals, eh? Something very simple. Mtu wata haja soma atairewa. Yeah, they don't have to be very complicated. And that is the best way. Now, the next thing that we need to look at is something small known as intrapersonal. Intra. Personal communication, intra, intrapersonal, intrapersonal communication. And right, that this is communication inside an individual, internal being. This is communication. 
this is communication inside an individual internal being individual internal being first of all it includes it includes one self talk self talk self talking mental notes Another one is recitation. Another one is prayers. So those are part of uh, intrapersonal. Intrapersonal. And it could be self talk. And it's very really necessary. It already becomes bad if you are not able to control it in the presence of us, uh, other people. As you look at the barabara to Nakuona, you look upside minded, you are not noticing the presence of others. I'm a quiet class, you start talking to your, I mean, you can wake, but you start talking to yourself. Now that is wrong. The singing was a problem. But come up with a and you start talking to yourself. Unaji Varui, Timimi, Unaji Tamkutano, Unaji Pemea, Unaji Praise. It is important. The other one is mental notes. is like what we call the meditations. Some things taking place in the mental. Uh, the citations, uh, even when we are doing our studies, we encourage that. You recite. It really gets into your nerves and your systems. You should do with prayers. You do prayers. As we do, as we do prayers and we talk to our God, it is also kind of a self-talk. Una geogeresha, una geogerea. It is very, very important. Very, very important. Higher. Finally, interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication. This is exchange of messages. This is exchange of messages between two or more persons. Between two or more persons. E.g. Dialogues. Dialogues. Interviews. E.T.C. E.T.C. Uh, it has the following characteristics. Are the following characteristics? Are the following characteristics? One, unavoidable. Avoidable, but two, irreversible. Number three, complicated, complicated. Number four, contextual, contextual. So this communication we are saying here, yeah, that is between more than one persons, it is, uh, Unavoidable. What do you mean by that? You cannot live for a prolonged period without talking to another person. Now, if you can now unaka peke ya kumira kuogea na watu for a prolonged period, that's a red signal. We need to advise you to check some help. It is irreversible. If you share some akitu, you cannot retract it. Ata kama utapaya na apology, the message is already communicated. 
or you can twist. I remember sometimes back back you know, uh, in parliament, he said fifty percent of members of this parliament are idiots, and he was told to offer an apology. Uh, he said uh, that I apologize that fifty percent of members of the parliament are not idiots. <laughs> So see, this is one the same thing. Because he had said 50% are idiots. Then I can be out of Samara, Sema, Nimesema, 50% are not idiots. So it's the same thing. Yeah. So the damage is already done. Atakama is apologizing. The other one is uh, it is complicated. Uh, when you're talking to people, and you know this, talking to people is difficult. Difficult. It is very complicated. It is contextual. Contextual meaning, yeah? uh, you have to look at the context. Where are you? Uh, and depending on where you are, there is what you can say and there is what you cannot say. Good. So I think we call it a lesson at that point. And we hope to pick up from there in our next lesson. Thank you.